In the Philippines, almost a third of 5 to 10 year old children are underweight and stunted. And studies have shown that poor nutrition leads to poor academic performance and early school dropouts. Moreover, the youth's declining interest in agriculture poses a major challenge for the future of food security in Southeast Asia. School and home gardens are a simple yet effective way of addressing these problems. The concept is nothing new, but what if, through an integrated, participatory, and science-based approach, we could further capitalize on school and home gardens to alleviate hunger, promote nutrition and healthy diets, enhance academic performance, and stimulate the youth's interest in agriculture. These were the challenges that the School and Home Gardens project addressed. With initial funding from the Asian Development Bank and the Japan Fund for Poverty Reduction through the Simeo College, this participatory action research combined the strengths of CIRCA, Simeo Center of Excellence in Agriculture, the University of the Philippines Los Baños, one of the leading agricultural universities in Southeast Asia, and the Department of Education, the lead coordinating agency of schools in the Philippines. The idea for this project came about as early as 2010, when then Philippine Education Secretary and CMEO President, Brother Armin Luistro, tapped CIRCA to help strengthen efforts to address these issues. The idea was for the pilot sites in the Philippines to be a takeoff and central learning point to be replicated in other Southeast Asian countries with the assistance of Simeo centers. To achieve this goal, the project has three main pillars. Education, Nutrition, and Economics. We implemented the School and Home Gardens project through a series of participatory activities. First, we selected the pilot schools. Then we engaged teachers in capacity building activities. Relevant concepts, practices, and technologies were introduced to the teachers. After which, teachers established the school gardens following various concepts, including edible landscaping. Schools were then provided with additional garden facilities and equipment. Moreover, we formally linked partner schools with their respective local government units. During implementation, we encouraged teachers to link very closely with their local government units, with the municipal agriculture officers, and also with the municipal nutrition action officers. Local government units supplied additional garden facilities and manpower. Toward the project end, awards and recognition were given to outstanding schools for their best practices in implementing various components of the project. The project's key accomplishments focused on nutrition, education, and economic well-being. Weight and height of the malnourished children improved. It lessened the malnourished and wasted pupils in our school. School children ate more vegetables. Moreover, students showed better familiarity with vegetables and their nutrients. They have learned to differentiate the nutritive value of different vegetables in our garden. Dahil po sa gulay yan, naging familiar po sa mga gulay na akala ko po noon na isang damo lang, na yung po pala ay pwedeng kainin. School gardens have become learning sites for various classes, showcasing education in a natural setting. They have also made school children more aware of simple agricultural practices. The school gardens became learning laboratories for children, teachers, and even parents, 
where they learned about recommended and appropriate technologies and practices of UPLB relevant to the project. Some of the people said, uh, Sir, I want to be an agriculturist someday. Having participated in numerous capacity building activities, the pilot school teachers themselves have been actively conducting re-echo workshops. Through the right shops conducted, the teachers prepared a total of 125 lesson plans for their classes. This is the project's way of institutionalizing school gardens as a tool for education. Other than the lesson plans, project partners generated knowledge resources, including a recipe book for the school feeding program and a module on school gardens. The school gardens supplied almost half of the needs of the school feeding program and even extended the duration of the feeding period. Nagluluto po kami ng iba't ibang ulam. At ang maganda po doon, ang nilalahok po namin ay dito po nanggagaling sa aming gulayan. School children brought home some of the harvest for their families. Ito po ay talbos ng kamote. Minsan po ako po ay nakakapag-uwi nito sa aming bahay para po lutuin ni nanay. Families of school children have actively participated in the maintenance of the school gardens. Through the gardening workshops and provision of planting materials, these families have also established gardens in their respective homes. Ayan tulad po ng mga anak ko, mahilig sa gulay. Sa kanila, limbawa po yung talbos, pwede na lang po na ano eh, yung palaga po gusto nila, isasapaw lang po sana, ulam na po nila. Tsaka laking tipid po. Hindi na po bibili sa palengke, hindi ka na bibili sa ano, basta pag may sariling kang tanim, kukuha ka lang. The pilot schools have planted the seeds and reaped the fruits of their labor. But the school and home gardens project lives on through its self-sustaining and self-rolling design. For one, two other schools in Laguna have already adopted the school and home gardens model through their own initiatives. From this growing network of pilot and sister schools with their respective local governments, we envision the school gardens project to scale out throughout the province of Laguna, becoming a self-propelling model for other interested provinces in the country and even other countries in Southeast Asia. I hope in the near future that this will be a good starting point for other stakeholders to be in partner with us in this noble task of providing proper nutrition to our school children. Overall, the school and home gardens have improved children's nutrition and sparked their interest in agriculture. Let us continue to build gardens that build children's lives and livelihood for their families. rin sa naging benepisyo ng, ng uh, gulayan sa paaralan ay ang mga magulang ng aming mga eskwela. Hindi na sila namung problema kahit magmahalan man ang mga gulay, eh hindi na sila bumibili ng gulay sa labas dahil mayroon na silang sariling tanin.
pagkakaroon ng malisong itakaisipan at pangangatawan ay aking sandata upang sa magandang ilang